Good morning, it's Friday, August 28th, and this is Top Story. Hurricane Laura hit the Gulf Coast late Wednesday into early Thursday morning, bringing winds reaching 150 miles per hour and heavy rain. But the destruction is proving less extensive than many feared. We can expect to see damage to infrastructure, down power lines and trees, and flooded buildings from rising water levels called storm surges. One financial and property data company estimated that more than 430,000 homes were at risk of flooding, estimating reconstruction costs could reach $88.6 billion. But for those of us not living in the Gulf Impact Zone, Texas and Louisiana, you might be surprised to know this storm affects you too or rather your gas tank. About half of the United States refineries sit along the Gulf Coast in low-lying regions, and half of these fell within Laura's projected path, causing gas prices to rise in anticipation. Historically, intense weather can damage the nation's critical oil and gas pipelines, causing supply disruptions by inhibiting offshore crude production and delivery. But due to COVID-19, transportation fuel isn't in high demand and energy markets are sitting on a comfortable supply. All around the storm was less severe than reports first led us to believe, but damaging winds and flooding remain a concern until it pushes off the eastern coast over the weekend. Also on today's full World Watch show, the world-renowned British Museum is reopening, but with COVID shutdowns, many museums won't be so lucky. And beachgoers in Italy get a new lifeguard with four legs and fur. Plus, we've got much more on our website, worldwatch.news. You're going to find our 10-minute program. Plus, you'll be able to watch standalone feature stories or view the newscast to get a quick snapshot of the news of the day and continue on your way. Go there right now. Sign up. That's worldwatch.news. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.